Hello and welcome to Maths by SARS. This is my fourth lesson of D3, chapter number 7, exercise 7a. That is about the graphs of functions. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to draw the graph of reci reciprocal functions. So, uh, we will discuss question number 4. Uh, in question 4, the given function is y equals to 10 over x square. Here it's important to discuss that the question is containing a fraction and in case of the uh, fraction questions uh, while we are graphing, it's really important to discuss that which values uh, we are not going to give to denominator and why we are not going to give those values to denominator. Uh, if uh, I'm giving x value 0 over here, the function will take the form y equals to 10 over 0 and we know that the division by 0 is not possible and that gives us the answer infinity. So all those values in fractional questions, in the graphs of the questions where the fraction functions are involved, we are not going to give those values to denominator which will make the denominator 0. Uh, in this way, your function will become undefined and all those values which gives you the denominator 0, they are called the point of discontinuity. So that's why when you will be looking at the table values of such fractional functions, you will not be finding those values of x in the table which can give the function uh, and the denominator of the function 0. So this is one of the most important points that I feel that my students should have the clear idea about this. Now, if we look at uh, the question, question says the table below shows some values of x and the corresponding values of y for y equals to 10 over x square and x values are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and y values are 10. This is 2.5. Okay, this is not 25. Okay, and then for 3, against 3, the value is missing. Against 4, uh, value is 0 0.6 and again 5, value is missing. So, uh, I hope my students are very much clear about this, that how to find the values of unknown. So, what we have to do, we have to take the given function y equals to 10 over x square. And now, the first uh, unknown is a, uh, that is the value of y for x equals to 3. So what I have to do that I have to insert uh, 3 over here. This is 10 over 9 and 10 over 9 can give me 1.1 but let me recheck this. Yes, this is 1.1 and then uh, for the next value this is y equals to 10 over 5 square and 10 over 25 10 over 25, 5 2s are and 5 5s are, which is equal to 2 by 5, and 2 by 5 is 0 0.4, okay, and this is 0 0.4. 0 0.4, replace the value over here. Okay, now the table values are complete. Be careful while completing the table because uh, this is one of the most important parts of your O level examinations, and this can give you two marks easily so you can secure two marks easily by completing the table and if we look at the table we can see as the values of x are increasing from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 if we, if we observe the values of y for x equals to 1 value of y is 10 as the values of x are increasing values of y 2.5, 1.1 and from 1.1 it has gone to 0 0.6 and then 0 0.4 values of y are decreasing. This is also one of the important points that we have to observe. And now coming to the next part, it says that using the scale 2 cm to represent one unit on both axes, 2 cm to represent uh, one unit on both axes, we have to draw the x-axis and y-axis is again really important to follow the instruction for the scale which is given in the question. So in order to spare some time and save some time and uh, give more focus on the discussion and clarity of concept, I have already drawn the axis for shoe. Now here in this question for both axes, for both 
x and y x axis and y axis axis and y axis y axis the scale which is given to us is 2 cm 2 cm equals to 1 unit 1 uh, unit it means that 20 small blocks are equals to 1 unit and 1 small block equals to 1 by 20 unit okay 1 small block has a value 1 divided by 20 that is 0 0.05 one small block has a value 0 0.05 units okay now uh, it's the time to go for the plotting of the graph and the plotting of the points and I always advise it to my students to go in the sequence do not mark the points abruptly so for one the first point that is coming with us is for one the first point that is coming with us is 10 so the first point will be coming at this place 1 with 10, 2 with 2.5, 2 with 2.5, so that will be coming right in between 2 and 3. Second point, 3 with 1.1, so reach at 3 and 1.1, so uh, if value is 0 0.05, uh, the blocks are 1 and if value is 1 then the blocks are 1 over 0 0.05 and if the value is 1.1 then the blocks will be 1.1 divided by 0 0.05 1.1 point zero five, and this is 22 blocks for 3 this is uh, 1 and this is again 22 blocks uh, 21 and 22 blocks okay for 4 this is 0 0.6 for 4 this is 0 0.6 okay 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.05 this is 12 blocks this is 12 10 11 and 12 blocks and then 5 with 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.05 and this gives me 8 blocks so 5 6 7 8 it's really important because uh, to understand that how I'm locating the number of tiny blocks for on which I will be marking these values because the uh, scale is complex so we have to understand that if the value is 0 0.05 blocks is small block we are having is 1 if the value is 1 then block will be 1 over 0 0.05 if the value is 1.1 what we have to do 1.1 divided by 0 0.05 and this gives me 22 blocks 22 blocks so I just have to move 22 blocks for 3 22 blocks for 3 and for 0 0.4 again I have divided 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.05 and this gives me 8 now the points are marked and it's the time to join all the points with the help of smooth curve so uh, go with soft hand and soft pencil in the beginning uh, okay and if you feel you're getting a better sketch of the graph then you can join the points with the permanent pen otherwise your effort will be wasted okay I always advise it to my students to first join all the points with soft hand and soft pencil so that if you are erasing this, your work that impact will not stay on the page okay this part is nicely done and now I have to go go smoothly up towards towards the other point that's the last point and that is waiting at the top okay 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 not bad not bad okay so now what we have to do we have got the graph and we are getting uh, the better impact there has to be no fluctuations no shaking and no breaking of the curve otherwise you will not be getting the exact answers and that will be affecting the accuracy of your answers one or two units or little up and down is acceptable but uh, there has to be no big difference between your value and the exact value okay I hope now it's the time to join the points 
with permanent pen carefully okay so that we cannot get any fluctuations any shaking and we can get a beautiful curve okay uh, okay i am almost done yes students we are almost done and a good curve alhamdulillah okay and now it's the time to mark the curve y equals to 10 over x square so the table part is done and then uh, after that the scale is the axis is done and then drawing of the graph is done and then we have to move to the next part and it says we're doing question number four and c part graph is done graph is done and c part is that i have to find value of y when when uh, my x value is 2.8 so what we have to do i have to reach at 2.8 i should know how to identify that how many blocks will be uh, equivalent to 2.8 this is the position for uh, 2.8 okay if the value is uh, 2.8, 2.8 divided by 0 0.05, and this is 56 blocks. Uh, this is 20, this is 40, this is 2.8, 2.8 is 56. This is uh, okay, uh, 40, this is 50, and this 6 block after, okay six blocks after and then i have to join this point to 26 okay and this is uh, 2.8 and 56 block and join it and see what is the value of y coming at that point value of y coming at that point let me keep the ruler straight okay now see after one we are getting six small blocks after one we are approximately getting six small blocks so one uh, small block has the value 0 0.05 multiplied by uh, six small blocks this is approximately 1.3 1.3 okay and then uh, what i have to do i have to make the line uh, perfect here so that my students can see this clearly this one and now from this side i have to mark the line and i have to join the points i have to join the points so when x is 2.8 y is 1.3 approximately and then the second part is y 4.4 we have to locate value of x so first of all i have to see i have to locate the position of 4.4 on y axis so this is the position for 4 so let me check it how many blocks divided by 0 0.05 and this is uh, 4.4 divided by 0 0.05 and this gives me 88 blocks 88 blocks are this is 20 this is 40 this is 60 this is 80 and then i have to move eight blocks up five uh, this is six seven and eight eight blocks up okay uh, one and two two units before okay this is uh, the position for 4.4 and let me see that what is the value of y coming at that place value of y coming at that place okay and now i have to join this point with x axis and see what value of x i'm getting at this place what value of x i'm getting at this place and this is approximately uh, nine blocks after one so nine blocks after one nine multiplied by 0 0.05 and this gives me 0.45 so it is approximately 1.45 the second part is that x when y equals to 4.4 and when x is uh, y is 4.4 x is 1.45 1.45 and which can be approximately taken as 1.5 and uh, let me 
uh, draw these lines with perfect pens so that my students can see this uh, process really clearly and understand this. I'm going really slow in these lessons because these are really important lessons for my students. Please watch my lessons, like, share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time. Thank you very much.